Hello my friends, my name is LaceJet, welcome back to another video on this channel. Now in today's video we're going to be looking at a new DLC that Dovetail Games has just released for Train Sim World 3, but before we do, I want to talk about something. Now what I'm about to say is very relevant to the DLC I'm going to be reviewing today. Now I have been enjoying Train Sim World 3 a lot lately, it's got amazing detail, the fact you can actually like be a person and walk around and like you feel more like a train driver in this game. But what I'm actually going to be talking about is the high speed trains. And I've realised that Train Sim World has focused on three different countries, Great Britain, Germany and America. But let's get back to the subject of high speed trains. There is something I did notice. First of all, the high speed train in Great Britain is a class 395. Now I think it's a good high speed train if you just want to travel at full speed across the UK. I just think, me personally, it's just a nice uh, high speed train to have in Trains in World 3. And the high speed trains on the German routes, well you have a choice. You can either have the ICE 1 or the ICE 3. And also in Train Sim World 3, there is a French high speed train, which you guys have probably guessed that one already. Of course, it's the TGV. Now, the TGVs are probably one of the fastest electric trains in the world. One of the fastest electric trains in the world. I didn't say it is the fastest train, but it is up there, the top class. But wait, there is a country we left out, and that's America. For Train Sim World 3, there is no high speed trains for the American route until now. So let's hop on to Train Sim World 3, travel to America, because we're going to find out what this high speed train is. It's called the Acela Express, Amtrak's flagship passenger train service along the Northeast Corridor. A high speed service from Washington DC, Boston, Baltimore, New York City and Philadelphia. Reaching high speeds at 150 miles per hour or 240 kilometers per hour. And on the 11th of December 2000 is when it had its first service. So here we are on Train Sim World 3, and here she is, the Acela Express. <laughs> now, this looks absolutely amazing. The detail and the quality of this DLC is just phenomenal. I mean, it just looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, doesn't it? I mean, the lighting is good. I mean, look at the detail in the pentagraph. This, this is absolutely, truly one heck of a DLC. If we actually go up to open the door, we can actually have a look in first class. I don't know you can hear the sound in the background, but everything's gone quite quiet now because we're inside like the quiet zone of the train. If we go outside again, it's quite, well, it's, it's a little bit more louder. I might turn the game volume up just a little bit. So if we go back inside, it's nice and quiet. And obviously we're in first class. So if we, um, in fact, I'm gonna a bit faster. Let's go into the other uh, coach. And the detail in the in in the interior is amazing. If we'd like to quickly just take a seat, <laughs> it just it looks so cool. I mean, I've never been on an SL Express before, but if I did, well, actually, in fact, I don't have to now because I've got this. So let's stand up and head back to the front of the train. So, all oh, that door's locked. So let's go all the way back down and step outside. Oh, it just, it just looks so cool. Whew. I'm never going to get used to this. Train Sim World 3 is just mind blown with when it comes to detailing. But anyway, let's head inside the cab. So, we're going to open this door, step inside, close the door. We have a look around. Oh, we can't have a look through the engine room. Oh, that's a bit of a shame, but never mind. Uh, I'm going to open this little door and close the door and sit in the driver's seat. Now, what we want to do is we want to turn the master key on. There we go. I think that's on. And we want to put our train in forward. Now, we want to pick up our passengers, don't we? So let's uh, open our passenger doors and wait 
to load our passengers. Oh, this is so exciting. So I'm going to switch my headlights to full, but ditch light off. That sounds right to me. And I have to say the interior, like it's kind of retro, but it kind of looks a little bit futuristic. It feels like you're in a retro spaceship. I mean, just by looking at all the controls and the way that, that the windows are shaped, you can tell that this is a high-speed expressor. So passengers are loaded, so let's close our doors. And then we want to lock them, I think. There we go, doors are locked. Now, I think we are ready to get moving. So we want to have our brakes fully off. And then push the bell button to let people know that this train is about to leave. It's very quiet. Shall I go outside? We might be able to hear it. There we go. We can actually hear it now. Ooh, um, oh, we're moving backwards. Why are we moving backwards? Oh, it's because we're going downhill backwards. Because I've released the brakes. Ah! Let's do a toot of the horn. I'm actually using my rail driver for this. So, let's do a toot of the horn. Oh, my God. That's horn up. What's what, what's that? That's horn low. What's what's horn high? It's got two horns. So you got a loud one and a quiet one. Oh my god! Right, enough fooling around. All of our brakes off. Let's accelerate a little bit. We'll have throttle two, I think. I think we're ready to go. Yes, we'll move. We're moving. Oh, we're moving. Oh, this looks nice. Oh my god, what's that sound? It sounds like a jet engine. What is that sound? And I've also noticed that when you're inside, it's nice and quiet, it's calm, but when you're outside, it's really loud. Might turn the game volume down just a, just a little bit. Oh, and if you've just noticed, the pentagraph actually adjusts when we're going under a bridge, and then will it, um, will it go back up again? There it is. That is so cool. See, I've played a lot of train simulator games, but having an adjustable pentagraph, that is so... I mean, look at that. It's <laughs> I did a little bit of a spark. That is so cool. I mean, I know that's been out for a while now for Train Sim World, but see it on an, on an Acela Express, that's just, that's just amazing. It's so quiet when you're inside, so let's give ourselves a bit more speed. Uh, I think nine might, might do it. Don't want to go too fast. We don't want to be breaking the speed limit. Although, look at me. I'm a man who always breaks speed limits. I mean, don't you know me by now? Oh, the detail and the lighting in Train Sim World 3 and on the Asala Express. This, th this is a really good DLC. Dovetail Games, you have done it again. You have made one incredible add-on here and if you guys want to buy this i'll leave a link in the description below on steam so you guys can buy this yourselves i highly recommend it guys this is such a well detailed and a beautiful looking dlc it's it's wonderful i mean i don't know much about american trains but when i see a fantastic dlc for train simulator or train sim world i know that you guys have got to get this i'm i highly recommend this so we're doing over 120 miles per hour. That's good. I'm just going to ease off on the throttle just a little bit. Here we go. I think about uh, notch four. I think that'll do just nicely. And I believe we're... I think we're heading towards New York City, I think. Yeah, it looks about right. I am just amazed. I mean, you can actually stand up and look around. But the problem is you can't exactly go anywhere. Oh, wow. Just opened the door and... It's gotten really loud. I mean, it is a shame that you can't really walk around throughout the engine room and explore. But, like, you know, I, I guess I'm guess going to have to live with that, aren't I, Mr. Oliver? Yes, you are. I mean, I've, I've driven a lot of Accelerator Expresses in, in different train simulators. But this is beyond amazing. It, it feels almost like the real thing. And I love what they've done with the sound because in the interior... It's all nice and quiet. I know I keep saying this, but it's nice and quiet inside. But when you're outside, it's nice and loud. That That's what I really like. It's little details like that. And the horn is just amazing. <sighs> wow. Just, just absolutely wow. So we're traveling at a lovely 134 miles per hour and nearly doing our speed limit so we can... 
Maybe go to notch two, I think. Yeah, that looks about right. And we, we want to do this properly, love. We want to do this by the book, don't we? Yes, we do. I mean, we are going uphill slightly, but that, that is okay. I mean, I just can't believe how much detail has got into this. I mean, the detail in the coaches, the doors, the windows, like even the wheels and the sides, just, just everything about this. It's just... This is what we've all been waiting for. We've been waiting for a high-speed electric train for the American route. And now we finally have one. So Dovetail Games, big thumbs up. To, in fact, I'm going to give you two big thumbs up for this amazing DLC. Because, I mean, you've done it again. You've blown my mind. Ah, the speed limit has changed. So now we can go up to maybe 150 miles per hour. Let's do that. So let's go on full throttle. And let's see how fast this thing can go. Oh, yeah. Pushing it to 140 miles per hour. Looking good, old girl. Looking good. I mean, when you look above the Acela Express, it, it looks like a power station. Well, it is a power station. But you can, like, see all the uh, cables and bits and electronical stuff that makes it look like an, ele like an electric train. I mean, just looking at it, it looks deadly. And like, I mean, look at all the detailing in the, um, like all the cables and wires and stuff. Like, how much work has gone into that just by making the pentagraph area? That's, that's just amazing. Okay, what's our speed now? Oh, we're, we're, we're over speeding. We're doing 164 miles per hour. We're breaking a record here. But that's not what we want to do. So let's uh, stop accelerating and let the train slow down just a little bit because we are do we are going. Um, almost 10 miles per hour over the speed limit. And then we don't want to do that, do we? No, 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 no. So I'm going to apply that brakes just, just a little bit. But look, look at that, though. I mean, it's an American route on a high-speed American local... Well, American train. And he said locomotive there, but it's, it's a train, Oliver. It's a train. And the good thing about using a rail drive, you can just sit back and just relax. Oh, and uh, we've got a beeper that's telling me that the uh, speed limit has changed from 100 and... Uh, 50 to I think about maybe 145 maybe apply our brakes just a little bit more and see how slow apply our brakes just a little bit just see how much we've got to slow down yeah 145 okay we can start accelerate again but not not too much not too much Mr. Oliver no slow down a bit more oh we got to definitely slow down now because oh we're going over a, uh, a quite a tight corner there <laughs> giggity yeah, slow it down, slow it down, and release the brakes. Oh, yes. Yeah. So you are a very responsible driver here, Mr. Oliver. Yes, you are. I need a, need a, like a driver's hat. Or a driver's badge. I've got a badge on my hat somewhere that says fireman. I need the one that says driver on it. Because that's what you do, Oliver. You drive trains in train simulator. Yeah. I mean, I know I am easily impressed. I, I don't mind saying that, but... I'm going to say this, okay? And this is quite a bold statement, what I'm about to say. This is probably one of Dovetail's best DLCs they've made in a long time. Like, Spirit of Steam, that blew my mind away. But so has this. This is one of those DLCs where you can say, Oh my god, they've actually done a good job on this. And what an incredible... Like, I'm, like, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm so, I'm running out of reactions here. I'm just so amazed of, like, the lighting, the shadowing, the detailing, and the 3D modelling in itself. It, it, it looks like a high-speed train, and it feels like a high-speed train, because it feels fast, it looks fast, it looks amazing. It's just everything about this. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. It's fantastic. And the speed limit has changed, which means we can go maximum, uh, acceleration. Good, that's what we want. So we can just try and speed this thing up now and try to get some speed going. I, 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 oh, oh, I've run out of reactions, guys. I need help. And it's the detail in the metal work as well, because if we go on the other side, I might turn the game volume down just a little bit, you can actually see that this bit here of the front of the nose of the lo of, of the train, sorry, it, it, you can tell it's been painted, but if we go across, all of this is like a... Like a metally stainless steel kind of look. So you can tell that this area has been painted, but all of this is like metal. Well, it is metal, but you guys know what I mean. Like a kind of chromey colour-ish. You guys know what I mean, don't you? 
I mean, it's details like that because I have actually seen some Acela Express videos and they do have this. Like, if you go on YouTube and watch, like, you know, at Acela Express at high speed, you'll see that it's got, like, this metal bodywork, but on the front of the nose, it's all painted white. So, like, again, it's, it's details like that that really impress me. Let's do another loud toot of the horn. <laughs> I, I I think that horn sounds absolutely incredible. Oh. Oh, look. What's this? Well, that dude's traveling at some high speed as well. I wonder how fast he's going. Although, we are going pretty fast. 165 miles per hour. And the speed limit is about 125, maybe. So, we got to apply our brakes again. I am not following the speed limit at all here, am I? No. I just can't believe how much detail effort has gone into this incredible add-on that just my mind is just like because i can't i can't think right because of how amazing this actually is like dovetail if i watch if you're watching this dovetail games big thumbs up because you've won my heart because I remember playing Microsoft Train Simulator when I was like a kid, and I used to drive the Acela Express all the time. I was going to do a comparison of Microsoft Train Simulator and Train Sim World 3 with the Acela Express, but unfortunately I couldn't get uh, Microsoft Train Simulator to work, which which is really annoying. But hey ho, you got to work with what you got, Oliver. I've been quite factual about this video, actually. I've given you guys some information about the Acela Express. I'll probably forget it about it the next day, but this has actually been a good video. I'm going to slow down just a little bit more because the uh, speed limit has changed once again. We've got 18 miles to go until we get to our destination. Look at that. We're like halfway there, I think. In fact, if we look at our timetable, we've got a stop at location, load passengers, and then stop at New York on track 11 and then load passengers. So we actually have two more stops. Hmm, I don't think I'll be going to New York in today's video, but I might save that for maybe like a, like a live stream or something. I think that's a good idea. So we still need to slow down. We need to go about under 100, I think. Oh no, speed limit has changed once again. I can go uh, 105 miles per hour now, so we can speed up again. 17 miles until our destination, good. I really want to get some, like, uh, close-up shots, like, where the wheels are, or, or, or the nose. Can Actually, can the nose coupling actually... Oh, <laughs> yes! And now I look at... Well, actually, when I look at that, now that looks like a HHPA. <laughs> that is so... I don't, I've always wanted to know how these, like, nose things open up. But now I know. I've always wanted to find that out. That is, that is amazing. Got like a little knuckle coupler there. And close it up. <laughs> the speed limit will change to 105 to 110. Maybe it's already changed to 110. Actually, no, it's still 105. I kind of want to get like an impressive shot of the uh, Acela Express like passing at high speed. <laughs> that was amazing! Oh, that was so cool. I, I'm gonna try. I want to try and do that again. I'll tell you what, let's see if we can try and get a shot by the road. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, we've got 11 miles to go. Oh my god, there's another train on the other side. Oh my god. That's a double decker. That's so cool. Well, we're going to we're going at tremendous speed right now. I think we might need to slow down a bit. Although the speed limit is just telling me to speed up. <laughs> in fact, I want to quickly try and do something. I want to try and get an interior shot. Um, the door's locked. Oh, I can open it. Yes. Oh no. Can I try again? Get in. Yes. I'm inside. Lovely. Oh, this is so cool. Can I like look out the well? Look through the window, not out it. It would be stupid, wouldn't it? Um. Look throughout this window. Ooh, very nice. I wonder what else this train has. Oh my god, there's a bar! Oh my god, there's a bar, guys! A bar! Oh, now I'm outside. No! I want to have a look inside the bar! In fact, I've still got a door open. Let's close let's close the door. Can we close it? Doesn't want to doesn't want to close. Oh no, there we go, it's closing. 
Lovely. <laughs> Gotta pretend I'm looking out the window, can't I? Oh, wow, that's a really cool shot. You're like a head sticking out the window shot. Oh, yeah. This is so cool. This is actually a really cool route as well. I'm actually liking this route. So we've got 7.6 miles to go. We can actually speed up a bit now. Let's get some speed going. It's, this is an expressor. This is the fastest train in America, Oliver. And you're only going at 97. Let's speed up. Let's get, get back into the 100 zone. There we go. 101. Uh, 102. Speed up, Oliver. We need speed. Right now, I'm in perfect sync with the Acela. Wait, is there another Acela coming past? Oh, yeah, there is. Come on, mate. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool. Obviously, I'm going way much more faster than there. Oh, God, I need to slow down. I need to slow down. The speed limit is telling me to go under 90. I'm doing 127. I'm going to derail, aren't I? Oh, got to be careful, Oliver. Got to be careful that, you know, you got to slow down. One minute it's telling me to slow down, and the other it's telling me to speed up. See, now we're back at 110 again. Oh, God, i got to be more careful. In fact, we're almost at our checkpoint. So we've got 3.5 miles to go, and I think we I think we just had a yellow signal just for a second. No, it's all green. Oh, good. But we are going downhill. We're doing 107 miles per hour, which is good. It's, it's good. We did manage to get up to 165, which I'm, pr I'm, I'm shocked. I'm, I'm not supposed to beat a record here. I'm just supposed to drive carefully. Although, it's not gone well so far, has it? And the thing is as well, when I'm driving a train in Train Sim World, it needs to have a nice interior. It's got to have a nice cab. And I have to say, this is a really, really nice cab. I mean, I can look around. It says I'm over speeding. I don't know why that's doing that. We can change sides. We can look outside. Oh my god, we can actually have like a window shot. That's amazing. We've got another uh, Amtrak car passing. Lovely. Let's see if we can switch back to the other side. Go right now. We can think about slowing down because the speed limit is going to be 35 miles per hour. So we can start slowing down to under 40, I think. Yes. Who knew Oliver can drive a train so well? In fact, I'm going to drive it from the outside because I mean, I do like driving it from the inside. Um, oh, we're switching track. Ooh. No wonder it's telling me to go on uh, under 35. If I was going 100 over those switch points, I would have gone pew, right off the track. So it's a, good, it's a good job I've slowed down for that. Do another two at the horn. All right, apply our brakes a bit more. Do the two of the horn. Let passengers know I'm coming in. So apparently I've got to stop here. So there's my train in the distance. Just do a few toots of the horn. So then train drivers normally do that to let people know that the train is approaching the platform. Another two. That's such a good sounding horn. I'm not going to lie. That sounds amazing. Okay, so we're going to approach the platform very nice and steady. So release the brakes. Apply and release. Bell off. Or braking. And stop right there. Oh, perfect. Perfect! Look at that! That was probably one of my best stopping or approaching I've ever done. But Dovetail Games, you've made one heck of a DLC. This is fantastic. I like it. No, sorry, I love it. I absolutely love, love, love this thing. It's, it's, it's just incredible. Great work at Dovetail once again. Just... Everything you guys do always surprise me. Like, this is just so cool. But guys, that concludes uh, the rest of this video. But thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel. Check out my website if you want to buy some LazyJet merch. We've got t-shirts, hoodies, cups, sports bags. Go to the LazyJet website, buy some merch. Link to that is in the description below. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys again next time. Goodbye. <laughs>
sort of. 